everybody. Welcome to, we are at Thursday. It's episode four of the first week ever of Funnel Factor. I'm so excited for this. If you don't know, if you haven't tuned in yet before, uh, Funnel Factor is a show where we break down the landing pages of our favorite internet marketers. We look to see what they're doing in their funnels, um, what they're doing on their sales pages, on their lead magnets, all those different types of pages so that you can go and apply these same strategies to your own business. So what we're gonna do today is go back to look at Russell Brunson's dot-com secrets, but real quick before we get into that, if you're hanging out with me live today, um, checking out the comments, I know that Diane is here and Rachel's here, put hashtag live down in the comments so I know who's hanging out with me today. And if you're watching the replay, put hashtag replay and we'll get started. So I'm gonna get my timer started. We're gonna keep this kind of short today. I'm a little bit late. Um, it's been it's been a morning, so we're just gonna get into it. But today we're focusing on the fourth factor that I look at in our trust test, which is social proof. So we are back to Russell Brunson's dot com secrets page. Go ahead and put hashtag social proof down in the comments so we can get this video tagged with what we're talking about today. Thank you, Rachel. Um, yes, you made it. Awesome. Okay. Hey, Diana. Okay. So put hashtag social proof down in the comments and let's just get started. So I'm really excited about this. Like social proof, it might seem like an obvious thing. Like how am I going to talk about it for 10 minutes? But I really liked picking apart uh, while I was, you know, have throughout the week as I've been going through this page, I've been, I've been seeing some things that you wouldn't normally like think of for putting in testimonials and social proof and stuff. So I'm really excited about this today. Now, um, we're, we're just gonna get right into it. So let's, let's go to the obvious social proof stuff first, and then we'll come back and, and go to these little, uh, not so obvious, these subtle social proof things that, I, that I've noticed on this page. So we're just gonna scroll down, and I actually just, I think we got to the bottom. Yeah, here we go. So we made it to the bottom yesterday, and we saw that there are some like typical testimonials, right? What's really, really funny that I see is a lot of people that, that come to me or don't come to me and I'm just looking at their stuff, they don't have social proof or testimonials on their pages. And it's really obvious that it's like a brand new offer and they haven't gotten results. Um, or sometimes it, it's just that it gets forgotten. Sometimes we like we, we don't really know where to use our testimonials or sometimes we don't even know how to ask for testimonials. And so that's like, first of all, it's like super important to have because it is proving that other people have done this, that have bought this thing and have gotten something out of it. They've gotten some sort of value or result out of it. So don't leave out your social proof and testimonials. Put it everywhere that you can. Um, Charlene, thanks for coming. Okay. So here's the obvious section, right? We've got our standard testimonial section. We've got lots of videos from lots of awesome people and you can go and, and listen to those, right? But what about the less obvious? I wanted to scroll down, make sure I didn't miss anything. So I'm gonna scroll back up to the top. I'm gonna do it quickly so don't get dizzy. And we're going to first come to this section here. So. What happens if you don't exactly have testimonials of people? Or maybe you do, but you also wanna put in something extra. Russell has added in some social proof here without actually using testimonials. So that's what we wanna look at a little bit closer today for the next seven minutes that you guys are with me. Of course, Russell has an award, right? He actually has multiple awards that people seek after. And when they get these awards, it proves that they were able to use his product and his information to have success to some level. And so he's actually taken pictures, right? Every Funnel Hacking Live, they take pictures as people are crossing the stage. Now, you probably don't have an event like Russell does. You probably don't have an award like Russell does. But think about like in your business, what what are ways that people are always like showing they, they, they got something out of your offer, your service, your, your product, and what is a, a way that you can show that they achieved that without having an actual testimonial from somebody? So he's got this. He said like 789 people have won our two comma club award, which means they've made seven figures inside of a funnel, right? With using our software. 
and they and he just has these pictures here um and then we've got let's let's go back up so this is this is social proof without actually having to testimonials we're gonna scroll back up and we're gonna look at another piece here so right away if you are familiar with funnels at all or you know marketing yourself you know that this this little uh box cut out here is social proof right this without even saying it this is implying that this book or this offer has been featured in these places right and these are big names forbes entrepreneur abc cbs inc 500 the profit now you may not have things like this, but you uh, have probably have been on podcasts or have written articles for something. Um, if you've been featured somewhere, then you can put that your you or your product has been featured in this thing, and that is super powerful. Like immediately, as soon as you scroll down to this and you see these logos, it's so powerful. It's like what like. This is obviously something that people are paying attention to. Maybe I need to pay attention to it as well, right? So that is also really important. If you are able to use where you've been featured, put that on there. Put it as many places as you can that you are trying to sell something um, as long as it makes sense and it's relevant, right? Okay, now the last one that I have picked out on this page is this here this little section right here just this one right here hundred thousand plus copies sold you may not think of that as your typical social proof but just stating that just stating that that's how many copies have sold automatically makes the viewer think like wow um obviously this is a book that people love and it must be helping people and it's like getting you know attention maybe i should take a closer look at this too same way that this social proof with the logos is working as well. It's like, hmm, this looks legit. This looks trustworthy. If, he, if they've sold that many copies, this must be something that is actually like worth my time and my money. So that is what we are trying to achieve when we are putting social proof on a page. It doesn't have to be just testimonials, although testimonials are really powerful because you are telling your your client or your customer is telling how they use your thing to get a result. Now, there's one other one that I want to talk about that I don't think he has on this, this page in particular, but if you are someone who, okay, maybe you can't put the, the featured in logos and maybe you haven't sold your program so many times and helped so many people, um, and maybe you ha are struggling to grab testimonials from your people, the other alternative is to just write out someone's experience for them. Use them with, with their permission um, or just keep them nameless if you can or change their name if you, if you feel like you need to. Use it as a case study. This is really powerful as well. So this is basically telling one of your client's experiences where they were at before, how you were able to help them, and what where they were at after, um, and using that as social proof. Just you telling the story of how it helped somebody is powerful. It is um, something you can use in addition to testimonials. And if you don't have enough testimonials or you don't have any testimonials, it is an alternative. So there's really no excuse to not have social proof like your standard things that you think about testimonials or otherwise, there's no excuse for not having these things on your pages. You have to put them on there if you are wanting to elevate the trust of your offer and of your brand and of your business. And it's going to help you get higher conversion rates, which is what we are here for, right? We want more leads and more sales in our businesses. And this is how we do it using funnels. So I have a minute and a half left. Let me know in the comments, what you have thought about this episode and also what have you thought about this whole week? We are on Thursday and we have one more day tomorrow for the, you know, first run, the first week of Funnel Factor. And I really want to know what you guys have thought of it so far. And if you have a suggestion of the next landing page or funnel page that you want me to break down, 
put it in the comments. I want to know who you want me to look at. If there's someone that you're like, oh man, I really wish that my stuff could just look more like that person. How can I make, how can I do that? Like I can do a breakdown for you. No big deal. We can, we can go through and dissect it and then you'll know exactly what you need to do to make your brand be uh, at that same level of trust as another, as another person that's killing it. Right. That's what we are trying to do here. So Monica, thanks for coming and tuning in and Charlene and Rachel, you guys are awesome. We've got 30 seconds left. So I'm just going to say, see you tomorrow. And if you want me to tag you in tomorrow's episode, put hashtag me down in the comments and I'll make sure you get tagged so you don't miss out on our last day, which I'm so excited for. It's one of my favorite things to talk about because it's something that nobody really thinks about. Uh, especially if you're not a funnel builder or funnel designer like me, uh, you don't, you don't normally think about this. So I'm really, really excited to tell you about it tomorrow. So, all right, guys, oh, time's up. Talk to you tomorrow.